Insight MR is the solution to enhance process understanding. And in this video, we will show you how to install, insert, and then remove the Insight MR flow unit. The Insight MR complete setup consists of a series of hardware units, and shown here is a suitable reactor, a pump, a thermostat, the Insight MR flow unit, and of course, an NMR spectrometer. Before continuing with the preparation, users are reminded that they must comply with all statutory requirements for occupational safety and health and for environmental protection. Please see the screen for more details and also refer to the manuals. Then launch the Insight MR software and acquire a proton NMR spectrum with any known 5mm sample in a deuterated solvent simply to ensure that the spectrometer is locked and is working properly. Then remove the sample from the magnet, deactivate the sample changer if one is present, and then set the sample changer automation mode to flow tube in the icon NMR configuration screen. Set the desired spectrometer temperature and then leave the gas flow at an appropriate value. Attach the transfer line holder to the Brooker sample transport shown here on the red collar. Note that the transfer line holder cannot be used when the sample jet sample changer is installed. Secure the inside MR flow unit against any movement and ideally it should be located in a fume cupboard. Remove the glass flow tube protection sleeve and inspect the flow unit for damage, contamination and leaks. Areas of particular concern are shown in red. Replace the glass flow tube and all the O-rings if necessary. Then visually inspect the glass flow tube to ensure that it is not cracked or damaged. The outside of the tube is free of particles and fingerprints. There are no particles inside the tube and liquid from inside the tube has not leaked past the O-rings. Optionally, connect the thermostat to the inlet and outlet of the temperature control lines. Shown here in detail at the rear of the thermostat unit with the connections for both the inlet and the outlet. Once this is done, switch the thermostat to on and set the thermostat to the target temperature and wait until it is reached. Ensure that the set temperature is within the recommended range for the probe and also for the flow unit and also ensure that at the set temperature the sample or reaction mixture is fully in solution. You should verify that the thermostatic liquid returns to the thermostat and also that the liquid level remains stable. Also, check for leaks, especially around the various connection points and ensure that the thermostatic liquid does not leak into the sample line. Now we start to connect the various system components. Connect the sample supply to the pump and the pump to the inlet of the flow interface, both shown here in green. Then connect the outlet from the flow interface valve back to the sample supply or to waste, shown here in blue. Add the desired solvent to the reactor vessel and then set the pump to the highest planned flow rate. Switch the pump on. Check the outlet to see if the flow is correct. And check that there are no leaks from the flow tube assembly paying particular attention to the connection points. Check that there are no bubbles in the glass flow tube. Now we're ready to insert the flow tube assembly. Firstly switch the pump off. Then remove the glass flow tube protector if it is still on and clear any condensation that may have formed. Then carefully insert the inside MR flow tube assembly into the magnet and push it completely down. To ensure proper insertion lift it up by about a centimeter and then push it back down again. You must feel a solid resistance and also hear the click. Fix a transfer line holder to the top of the magnet. Alternatively, you can secure the transfer line to the top of the magnet using Velcro tape. You should also block the path to the transfer line so that nobody trips over it or otherwise disturbs the line. You can now switch the sample floor back on again and the system is considered ready to be used. During usage, it is recommended that you regularly check the liquid levels in the thermostat and also the reactor 
simply to make sure that there are no leaks. Refer to the Insight MR software quick guide for a quick start. You'll find that under the help menu in the Insight MR software interface. This part of the presentation shows how to remove the flow tube assembly from the magnet once an experiment has been completed. Firstly, switch the sample flow to off. Then disconnect the inlet from the reactor. Place it into a wash bottle with a suitable solvent. And disconnect the sample return line from the reactor and direct it to waste. Switch the sample flow on and rinse the sample line with solvent. Switch the flow off once this is done. Then set the thermostat to ambient temperature. Wait until the temperature is reached and switch the thermostat off. This part of the presentation shows how to remove the flow tube assembly from the magnet. Simply lift the flow tube assembly and the transfer lines and secure to a clamp stand. Disconnect the sample supply, which is shown here in the green. And should the user want to store the unit with dry transfer lines, connect a syringe to the outlet of the sample line and empty the flush line into the waste by flushing the lines with air. Remove the syringe and close the inlet of the sample line to protect it against ingress of dust or dirt. You don't need to remove the glass tube, but it should be protected by the sleeve. Before disconnecting the thermostat lines, lift the flow tube with the transfer line above the thermostat bath and wait for half a minute so it drains. Then disconnect the inlet and the outlet to the thermostat and suspend the connectors above the bath so that the thermostat liquid drains into the bath. If you want to use the NMR system now with a different application, remove the Insight MR transfer line holder and reactivate the sample changer if appropriate and then set the sample changer type through the icon NMR configuration.